Okay, here we go at our local uh, dumping area for for mulch. So what I've decided to do, or, or, or tree trimmings, what happens is you have uh, the tree companies need a place to dump the uh, wood chips, and this is where they wood chip, they dump the wood chips after they uh, clear land. So anyway, most communities have these. What I've decided to do this year, and checking out the uh, permaculture ideas and, and no-till gardening is to uh, make some attempts at mulching. And so the idea is that you put wood chips over the surface of your soil so that uh, your plants have a more natural environment underneath and the different layers of soil, the humus and everything underneath. And I mean, theoretically, it sounds really, really sound. I see that people are having some great uh, uh, um, um, plant growth by, by, by doing this. And it, it, it basically, it replicates compost tea in a way. In a way. So if you go out in nature, you'll notice that there is no uncovered soil. Um, all soil is covered by leaves or, 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 or some sort of grass or cover crops or, or, or wood chips, something of that nature. Because anytime there's exposed dirt, nature you know, sends seeds, you know, seeds land in it and they, and, uh, and they grow. And so the idea is the bacteria in the soil always have to have some sort of cover over them. So having bare soil creates a an unnatural environment for the bacteria in the soil and so you don't get as much uh, production out of your plants and uh, because all the different bacteria under the ground aren't getting everything they need so anyway uh, I mean we, we make up for that with fertilizers we make up for that with compost tea you know and but to try to reproduce a more natural process uh, I'm going to go ahead and cover all my beds with compost this year and see what sort of effects we get from that. Um, apparently there's supposed to be a com compounding effect year after year after year as the soil builds up and the humus layer gets thicker and you know there are more and more bacteria and nutrients and minerals in the, in the soil for the plants. So we're going to go ahead and give that a shot. So this is how I'm going to go about this. We have. Uh, don't have a pickup truck to to come and pick this stuff up in so uh, what I'm going to do is I got my trusty shovel I got my nice uh, garden shoes oh man I love these shoes it's the you know, best Christmas gift I ever got but anyway uh, what I'll do is take the car and a tarp and just cover the inside of the trunk with the tarp and the way I do it and I try to make a bag out of it. I basically stuff it up under the hood like that. Make sure there's plenty of uh, room here on the inside for all the wood chips to go. And I basically make, make a bag. And so what that does is it just prevents wood chips from falling under the, you know, in the car, in the hood space. And it makes sure that my trunk stays as dirty as it normally is. So this way, it doesn't get any dirt. <laughs> I tell you, from the side of that trunk, I might as well just dump it in just like that. But and you wouldn't notice any difference. But anyway, so this is how I'm going to go about it. You know, this works for the uh, old hoopty here. And uh, uh, you know, you, those of you who pick up trucks, you don't have to work. You don't have to do this. But uh, it also works if you have a Benz or a BMW or any of those uh, luxury cars that monoculture teaches us that we, we're supposed to have and that's our sign of status it'll it, this works just as well with a luxury car so finally a good use for luxury cars okay so now I'm starting to get somewhere to see what I'm doing here is when I throw the mulch in here I'm actually shoving it to the back I'm actually pushing it to the side shoving it to the back so I'm filling out as much trunk space as I can and uh, I want to show you so the easiest thing to do would be to get the stuff that's right here on the surface, the dry stuff. But uh, what I'm actually doing is I'm going for the nasty stuff. Well, not the nasty, but I'm going for this wet, thick, nasty stuff down here because uh, what they say is, I mean, this is, this is where the stuff is starting to break down. But not only that, the uh, smaller pieces in these piles tends to fall in the middle. And for the purpose of getting 
some of this stuff if you got slugs which I do all these sharp little pieces uh, slugs don't like they don't like to crawl on that it's like kind of almost like sawdust and it's sharp so they kind of avoid it so I've noticed I get a little protection um, from the plants that, uh, that 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 I put this around but also there is uh, I don't see any right here but what I noticed with my sunflowers I used to put this mulch around them and a year later I'd go digging in it to to put more in and I would notice all this white stuff and I was like oh man I don't know what this is you know it's it's uh, it uh, looked like it was some sort of an infection bacterial explosion whatever but actually it was fungi and it was good and so when you're digging in these piles if you find any of the the white fungi bacteria that's a good layer that's that's uh that's what the hum was at the humus layer i think and below is what i think I, I i saw so that's the good stuff that's the stuff that you want on your plants so if you're doing this ahead of time then uh you know you're okay you know you, you you've got this already three months on your ground and on your soil and, it, and it's already you know starting to be broken down but uh seeing how i'm planting here in about two three weeks uh, I need to go ahead and get this wet stuff down here. One for slugs and two, I want the process to already have been started. It's nice and wet so you got all different types of bacteria in there already going and yeah, maybe that'll allow me to, to shave a month time off of you know when, when it starts to break down. And the other thing I learned is that you don't want to till this stuff in because what will happen is that creates a nitrate lockout because there's what too much nitrate in the soil being broken down and too much oxygen. Uh, what you want to do is just put it on the surface and when it rains the rain lands on it and trickles down through the different layers and it, and it'll water the plants um, with a with a sort of compost because all the minerals that's being broken down from the bacteria in the wood chips will actually end up feeding the plants almost like a, a, a compost tea so I'm doing compost tea and I'm doing mulching and uh, we'll see how it goes this year thanks for watching Okay, so this is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Goal is to make this over here lined with newspaper. Well, <laughs> if the wind doesn't blow it away again, what I do is I kind of line the newspaper and then I'll throw um, a little bit of mulch on top of it before I, uh, not mulch, but wood chips before I start to uh, unload. But uh, to make that over there look like this, we're just basically lining the front of the greenhouse so that uh, we can get a little something growing out out here. So uh, here's my wood chips. Once again, works in BMWs, Cadillacs, and Benzes. For anyone who's trying to escape the monoculture, you know, again, if you, you love monoculture and work until you die, that's awesome. That's great. Good for you. It doesn't work for me. So we're going to use the non-Benz <laughs> BMW Cadillac. Go ahead and shovel this good stuff out of here and uh, get the garden started. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Thanks for watching.